Hey guys, Merch Hunter Ricky here again with a One Punch Man Chapter 154 synopsis and reactions video. Um, I actually wasn't originally planning to do stuff like this, but I figured since the chapter dropped today and it was really good, it, one, it inspired me to go and look for some merchandise for One Punch Man now, because all I have is the video game anyways, and two, I had to review it. I started a channel, I might as well. Anyways, Links to the chopper hat, Doflamingo sunglasses, they'll be up tomorrow. Anyways, let's start the review. It starts off immediately with Flashy Flash, Garo, and Platinum Sperm duking it out. Um, Flashy Flash is already getting upstaged. And I'm not going to harp too much on the fight because, one, it's really good. It's very good. Two, I can't do it justice by just describing it. And three, Flashy Flash gets trashed quickly. Um, I like there's a there's a line that Garu and Platinum Sperm Sperm both remark that like Flashy Flash is just crying about being slower than four other people today. Meanwhile, he should be worrying about protecting the weak. And you know they whoop his ass, they smack him down to the ground. He gets wrecked. Anyways, um, then Garu and Platinum Sperm duke it out like like super quick, super fast, going like. And again, I can't really do stuff like this justice, especially not without editing, and, you know, we'll get there. Anyways, they're going at, like, faster than the speed of light type shit, and they're just leaving trails in the sky, and then after a while, Garo pretty much just decides that he's better than Platinum Sperm, and they both land, and he just blitzes right through Platinum Sperm and seemingly kills him. Then we cut to what seems like Blast coming down to look at uh, take a look at King and Terrible Tornado. Terrible Tornado's, like, on the ground, kind of messed up. King's looking after her. And, uh, like, I don't even really know how to explain it, but, you know, Terrible Tornado's really excited to see Blast, and Blast is kind of explaining, you know, hey, you did a good job, and uh, you could have done better, but you just needed a little bit more power. And, you know, we've already heard this before, but from someone else. And... He continues, if only you had a little bit more power. I've recently acquired the power to bestow gifts, basically, you know. You know whose speech. And she's just like, who are you? And unfortunately, I subscribe to Viz Manga, so <laughs> I should probably go look at, like, a more, a more accurate translation because he just, like, he gets questioned by Tornado and she says, who are you? And he answers, yes. <laughs> And, like, the panel gets all whooshy, and then the real uh, Blast appears. But first you get an image of the Blast talking to her, and it's, like, that googly, squiggly face over Blast's head. And we've already seen that, that face before. You know, that's the guy who gave Homeless Emperor the power. And as you saw, he tried to do the bargain like he did with Saitama, Oculet, and Flashy Flash. <laughs> and... Honestly, I just really like Oculet a lot. Oculet fans. Anyways, um, I just really like that Blast arrived in like two seconds to just kind of like either flatten the thing or just send it packing. But regardless of what happened, it happens, like you'll see in the panel, it happens really fast. And because of that, um, he laments really fast. Like, damn, because I got stuck in the this little effect of the time cube or whatever it is. I don't know what it is because he got stuck in it, he had to be inside of, like, a time pocket or something like that, and that thing had enough time to get through and make contact with Terrible Tornado, who was on the ground. And because of that, uh, you know, he's just kind of like, fuck. He's probably mad that he's getting a little bit worse at his job, and, you know, this is now, like, what, the second... or, yeah, second time we've seen him, or third? Ignore my hand. I wasn't counting. But, um, I just really like pretty much that, uh... <laughs> yeah, I have my notes right here. I don't really know how to explain it other than the fact that I am a huge fan of Blast just kind of taking the One Punch Man from, like, a jokey, I'm gonna beat your ass one time manga to now it's just, like, fucking cosmic space, Lovecraftian nonsense, let's do it, I'm, pff, I'm in. And, you know, right before he opens a new portal to leave after telling King to look after Tornado and whatnot, he's like, I don't work alone and shows a huge portal open of just a bunch of Giga Chads. And, you know, they all kind of 
I can assume they have his armor. We just see silhouettes with their jagged hair and, uh, I don't know, like, just the white of their eyes. Or maybe not even their eyes, just, like, white dots where their eyes would be to look intimidating. At that, you know, he disappears. There's, like, a huge crater in the ground where that, his dimension was. Um, and then we are greeted with a beautiful visage of Garo in this monstrous... You know, I mean, you know how he's been looking lately. Now he's like a solid black version of himself with like lightning streaks going around him or like crackles or ripples. And now I think one eye is exposed. Um, and two new monsters appear. However, they're not with the Monster Association. One is named Senti, Senti Senin, like Senti Choro, or I think that was his name, Senti Choro. This is Senti Senin. He's just a big, even three times the size of the last centipede we saw, and he's just like, Garo, I am the god and father of Earth, and over there is the freaking mother of the sea, and we see a new goddess of the sea rise up, and her name is Evil Sea Water. And beautiful naming, honestly. And they both challenge Garo, like, to die by our divine punishment, and Garo just goes, no, and just zigzags all the way up into Senti Senin's face and punches him, and the chapter ends. That was awesome. It was a good chapter. Honestly, I could use some water after that. I should have brought my water in here. I literally walked into my room to go do this and didn't bring the water. I'm dying. But yeah, just reliving the chapter was good. One Punch Man is very good stuff. I guess I'm going to start doing a series about One Punch Man things and we'll see how that goes too.